Hello, my name is Jerome Breen. I lead on bioresource genomics and biomarkers for the National Institute of Health Research, Biomedical Research Centre for Mental Health. Come inside, I'll show you around. Our bioresource team and lab team are based here in the MRC SGDP Centre at the Institute of Psychiatry. We are trying to achieve translational medicine, taking basic science into clinical practice as quickly as possible using modern genomic approaches. These are our laboratories and here we conduct genomics, proteomics and biomarker experiments. Our goals are to develop a bioresource for mental health, a resource of samples and a resource of patients willing to take part in research, such as clinical trials. In addition, we want to develop biomarker and genomic tests that will help predict which patients will respond to which treatment. This will help predict prognosis for a patient and will be of clinical utility. This is our microarray scanner. We use this machine to conduct genomic experiments. This machine loads microchips. On those microchips, we can interrogate millions of features on the human genome. In modern genetic studies, we have to work on thousands of samples, and our task will be impossible without using robotic assistance. This is our liquid handling robot. On this robot, we can process thousands of samples in a single afternoon. Here's our freezer room. This is where we store the thousands of samples that we process. In this room, we've got samples stored from over 100,000 people. It's worthwhile considering that you know, we take one blood sample from someone, a patient. We will then divide that sample up into maybe 20 to 30 aliquots of DNA, plasma, white blood cells. This work is important for very many reasons. We know that approximately 20% of the population has a mental health disorder. Dementia, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. The number one burden of disease in the world is a psychiatric illness, depression. We may be losing several percentage points of our economic growth each year because of mental illness. Simply put, better treatments will result in a better economy. Our goal is an ambitious one, to collect samples from up to 50,000 SLAM and King's Health partner patients over the next five years. If we can do this, we stand a very good chance of making discoveries that will improve the quality of life of patients.